glad for your success. Is not everybody happy for your success? Then we sell you out in a minute. They will sell you out in a minute. Look what happened to the girl down in Mexico. Look at what happened to the girl down in Mexico. She and her friends went on a vacation in Mexico. There's a video out with one of her friends. The, one of her female looked like a female, looked like half male, half female. Beating the hell out of this girl. And you know what? The dudes, the niggas who were there with her, all they were saying, fight back, fight back, do something, do something. While just holding the camera and videoing her abuse at the hand of another woman, dragging her around the room like a rag doll. That girl ended up Dead. And nobody talking. The woman that they said is the woman that was seen beating her, according to reports, put up a post. Oh, send money to my, my cash app if you want me to talk. That they killed a dog. Or like it was a dog that got killed. Send me money if you want me to talk. None of these people that were there with this woman is saying anything. But she died. These were people she trusted to go on a vacation. So if Megan Thee Stallion had died, what would have happened? People would have started changing their testimony. People would have started hiding. People would have started saying, Oh, I didn't see what happened. All of these nonsense. Are you crazy? And she lived to tell the tale. And you're still saying she's a liar. She's not a victim. She fucked the he. She fucked whatever. She fucked who so. She lied that she fucked two aliens. Whether that has to do anything. Whether she want to lie that she fucked him yesterday or no. Did she get shot? I get. Did, did, he, sh did he shoot her? Excuse me. She said he shot her. You see? He got convicted for shooting her. Now the best you can hope for, him get a light sentence or him get some, you know, something to teach him a little lesson. If he, you understand what I say? And hopes that them not deport him because he has been here since he was a child. But it's a lesson for you to learn from this. You're an entertainer. You're a musician. You're making millions of dollars. You see? Millions of dollars. Whole heap of money you make. Millions you're making. So it's time to start moving like Jay-Z, them and Nas them. And Dre, and, and Dre them. And even Drake, the snake. You don't see them out there with no loose, walking around with guns. You see them with bodyguards. Security. If you think so, you have to go to places where your life has been threatened. You have security. You have money can pay security. That means you will preserve your freedom. You see? That is it. You can't be doing things the same way you did things before you became a star. You become a star and you're still doing things the same way and expecting a better result. If you used to walk with illegal firearms before you were a star, stop walking with illegal firearms. Get security, pay security. I'll get a licensed firearm. You become a big rapper, you're making all this money, and you're still doing the same thing that you were doing when you before you became a rapper. When you were in the streets, because you still want to keep street cred. It's time to let that go. Let this be a lesson to all of these rappers, these new youth. Look how much every time you turn on the news. Oh, such and such rapper died. Memphis rapper died. Atlanta rapper died. All these rappers getting gunned, gunned down. Rapper in, taking pre-bargain. 
The only these people that are taking plea bargain for the for the for the young thug on the young thug um 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 Rico charge are kids. All of them are rappers. You you like oh such and such rapper. Rapper, 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 rapper. Oh, rapper take a plea, but you're like, what? These guys are rappers, or, or these guys are like gangsters. What, what is it? What, what is it? Y'all are making money, y'all are doing music, and you're talking about gangsterism? Now, when you go to prison, what we're we supposed to do? Or when you shoot an innocent person, what we're we supposed to do? Be out here talking about the victims are liars? Talking about the victims deserve what they got? How oh, the victims suck um, um, a pina colada penis. So she deserves it. You can't be doing the same thing you did before you became a star. I expect a better result. You're going to go to prison. You're going to go to prison. Are dead. <laughs> That's going to happen to you. You gonna die or you gonna go to prison? And anybody want to sugarcoat it or anybody want to go on like they're afraid of you, they cannot hide the truth for much longer because we are seeing the results. You see? You have to be quote unquote taking plea bargains. You are getting killed or you're going to prison. That is what is happening. So stop victimizing. Megan the Stallion and talk to these rappers who are still doing the same thing they did before they got their break. Your name is Tory Lanez. You're not supposed to be even, we're not supposed to be having this conversation. Your father is a pastor. Your father is a minister and he's out here crying down and hollering and blaming Jay Z. Tell you, Mr. Daddy Pastor. Tell Jesus to take the wheel. You haven't said nothing about this woman that got shot. And you're a pastor. And I understand it. You're his, you're his daddy. And of course, it, it feels, you know, yeah, I can't imagine my seeing my son. I can't imagine it. But you know what? Daddy pastor, there's a victim too. And you're a father. So does picture if Megan Thee Stallion was a fatal situation what you would be saying? You see? Because this could have been worse. You understand? And she said your son shot her. That is something for you to pray about, brother. Not be on the street corner hollering and blaming Jay-Z. Go and pray about that, brother. And pray that the judge will understand that people are sometimes, you know, are people sometimes just do bad things and err. But we all err at times. And we hope for forgiveness. That is it. You can't come big, strong, and bold and loud when there's a victim, brother. I understand he's your son, but there's a victim that said your son shot her. You see? So me know say it rough on the fans. Me know say it rough on the family. But it also rough on Megan and her family as well. Because people are still bullying her on the internet. And she's a prominent person. She's a public figure. How you think she's going to cope? Knowing that when she goes to some places, people are going to be there calling her a liar, a hoe, and all of these things. Not taking into consideration that she is a victim. You see? So we have to talk to you, them. <laughs> talk to these young men. Let these young men understand that you cannot mix oil with water. Pastor man, it's time to preach. 
to the youth them. Take this as an opportunity to reach the youth them. Is it? You can't mix oil with water. You see that? You can't deal with badness or gangster thing and want to be a musician, a celebrity, doing music, a public figure. Because when you go in front of the judge, or when you go in front of the prosecutor, or when you go in front of the court, it may just turn out to be a bad day for you. And when you get to prison, it may even be worse. You don't leave from the streets to having whatever bed you want to sleep in and go back to a kin cell or find yourself back in a prison. You see? You don't leave from poverty where you can travel business class, where you can find food anytime you want to find food, where you can get pum pum anytime you want pum pum. You get the hottest girls in the world. You see? You're a star. And you find yourself in problems to the point where you have to be spending 30 years, 20 years in a jail cell. Are you stupid, animal? Animal, you find, you, animal, you get a break. You just struggle, animal. You're struggling in these streets. And he's thinking, of the, I'm from the streets, and you know, I'm, and, I get, and I got shot, and I got beat, and I got bullied, take the 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 take that life is what, you know, groomed me. That life is what, you know, propelled me to, to be where I'm at. You see? I'm going to leave all of this to go to a jail cell? Who, who can get me to take up badness? To work with an illegal firearm? What, Robert? Tell me which person on this earth can get me to walk out my house with an illegal firearm to risk my nice bed? To risk my early morning breakfast? Me eating whenever I want to eat? To, come, to let a water tell me when to be in? To let, a, to let me can't after uh, before I and before I shower, I have to be looking if big and thick and large and tall coming around the bathroom. I have to be watching. People want to rape me. What? A water want to talk to me like I am no... Uh, me? You ain't gonna learn. Keep going and think you're gonna get a better result, young man. You see? Keep doing it and hope for a better result. You see? You're gonna get a plea bargain where you're gonna be at, you're gonna have to stay out of trouble for 20 years. Meaning, it is impossible. <laughs> and you're going to go to prison because a plea bargain, you can't even drink a beer or smoke a spliff. When they go down to the station and they test you and they find out that you were drinking, you're going right into the slammer. And you may get slammed in the slammer. You want to risk all that because you want to talk about street and I'm so gangster and I'm so thug. Cut a year. And then you have the idiots on the internet to talk about, oh, I believe he's guilty. Oh, I don't see anything to say that he's guilty. Oh. No, I believe he's not guilty. Excuse me. I believe he's not guilty. I think she's lying. Oh, you see, she lied that she fucked the baby. You see, she lied that she fucked him. Now she does. Now we know that she fucked. Move. Move. Go away. Move. 
and come back when you're ready to tell these young men that they cannot expect a better result with the same street gangster mindset. They're going to go to prison, they're going to get killed, or they're going to die by them friends, or they hand at them friends, or they hand at the police. That's what's going to happen. You see? When you get this opportunity to be a great rapper, you, 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 you used to make McDonald's money, you used to make hustling money, weed money, juggling money. Now you're making, you're making, you're making 200,000 per show, 100,000 per show, 20,000 per show. You know what is making, are you stupid? You were blessed with a talent that you can make 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 per show and you are in prison? Are you stupid? And I'm supposed to come out here, come cry for you? I'm supposed to be out. No, no, no. I'm crying for the victim. And I'm hoping that you will learn. That is it. I'm crying for the victim who will now have to pick up her life. After all this bullying on the internet. After all people like Drake talking about this bitch lying that she got shot. I know you want to tell me that he's talking about butt shots. It's stupid. Are you stupid? Are you, are you stupid? You see, Drake can say that about a sister. <laughs> Call her a bitch. And then talking about she's still a stallion. But look what the baby. The baby said a simple thing on the stage. About the people that runs the earth. Simple thing. And he has to get a permit to perform in New York City. Because he just said, oh, something, something, something. <laughs> he just said, something, something, something. Against people that he's not supposed to say something, something, something against. And he has to, he has to get a permit to perform. And his career went like this. And all the, all the, all, all song, songs that he had with top artists, the top artist that he had songs with said, Oh, I don't want him no more on my song. Take him off. Take him off my song. But none of these women came forward and said they don't want to be on any song with Drake because he called Megan Thee Stallion a bitch, in my opinion, in his lyrics, talking about bitch is lying that she got shot, but she's still a stallion. Nobody said, Oh, what is that? Misogynistic? Nobody said that. Nobody bat an eye. Nobody said, oh, take Drake off my song. Because you know what? He attacked a black woman. You see? So women throughout history have been fighting for certain rights. But the black woman, she has to fight a hundred times harder. And she has been fighting all her life. So when they said, okay, women can work, the black woman did not fall into that category because she's a Negro. You see? So she had to continue. She, women can work now, but black women had to fight for black women can work too. So when women could work, it was not like, oh, all women are allowed to work or should work or should enter the workplace. No, it was no black woman. No, you now have to fight a separate fight to work. So throughout history, it has been like this. Because Drake the fake could not say these lyrics or put forward these lyrics if Taylor Swift had gotten shot. You see? <laughs> he wouldn't say, bitch says she's, she got shot, but she's still swift. He would not dare to can say that. But he can say that about a sister. And all of you coming talking nonsense. But he's talking about butt shots. And the baby can bring up her past. Like when since it is cool. For niggas to talk about who they had sex with. And which girl they had sex with. And they're not called. And they're not, and, and, and they're not being called out for it. Or getting called out for it. When since it is cool. For us to start talking about. I fuck her. And I fuck her. And I fuck her. And I fuck her.
When since that is so cool for you to be walking around with the pussy on your lip? When since that gets so cool? Every 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 man know. Every man feel like it's a it's 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 yeah 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 yeah. I used to fuck Megan the Stallion. Yeah 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 and rap rap about it. I I fuck such and such. Move. We used to have songs say, me tell the girls say, me no kiss and tell. That is what we used to have. Original, get that no chat, and me must get the pum pum when me come back. That is what we know. Got a year. When since it's so cool for you to be highlighting and broadcasting which woman you have sex with, you're a... That's what you are. You see? So let us cut this year. Big up yourself, Megan the Stallion. You see? I hope you have good people around you. And know your friend, sister. You see? And ladies, know your friends. Road boy, know your friends. Because money can buy some of them out. A lot of women, they are friends. That they go out and date with. Your friend talking about, oh, um, can you, can you, can you, can you go with us? Um, we're just gonna go hang out with, um, 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 Tony and, 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 um, you know, I'm just going, we're just gonna go have some drinks. And you go with your friend, and when you reach there, Tony brought his friends. And by the end of the night, Tony friends raped. His friend, his, his, his friend, girl, friend, you understand that? The woman that went with Tony's girlfriend got raped and Tony's girlfriend said nothing, didn't support her, told her not to say anything and she has to live with that for the rest of her life, getting gang raped. So be careful of your friends. Because then we set up our man for rape you. Then we set up people to kill you. They will know that people kill you. They will know that people kill you. And because you're dead and gone, they do not cooperate and they do not shed a tear. You see? Understand that. Get it in your head. Be careful of friends. You see what happened to the girl in Mexico? None of the people that went with her testifying. None of them know what happened to her, but she's dead. You see? Many women go out with their girlfriend and got drugged rape. You see? Got drugged and raped, excuse me. Got ganged rape. And their friend know what happened. Knows what happened. You see? And tell her, oh, let's get over it. I know they didn't mean to do it. Um, I don't believe you. I think you were a little drunk. Remember you were pushing up, you were dancing with, yeah. And you have to live in that prison all your life. Because you're afraid to talk because no one is going to believe you, especially your friend is already telling you or giving you hints that she will not cooperate if you go to the police. You see? So learn from these ladies. Learn from what Megan the Stallion friend did to her. Learn from what the girl in Mexico that died, the girl that died in Mexico, learn what happened. No one is coming forward talking about what happened to this woman, Pitney. This woman child died in Mexico. And we have countless reports like that. We have countless cases like that, Imhotep. And your friend knew exactly what was going to happen to you she knew you were going to get raped because she knew your your she knew her boyfriend friends did it to somebody else you see and she didn't even warn you and tell you that you know what don't have no drinks from them but then spike your drinks and rape you and she knew about it you see Bless upon yourself. One love. Take care of the woman them.